very good morning and welcome back to a very different kind of video for my channel. For the longest time I've been doing landscape photography and I've kind of restricted myself to that genre. Today we're going to change things up a little bit and we're going to go, well we're going to go street photography. I am so far out of my comfort zone right now, let's see how it goes. Alright, so we are currently stood down a little side street in the old town in Hull. And what we found, if you see on this building behind me, if I can find it, it is this one here. You see where the white light is there on that building? What we're waiting for is the sun to peek around some buildings just in front of me. And it's going to cast a stream of light straight through here. And hopefully we'll be able to loiter around here, not looking weird at all, and get a photograph of somebody when they enter a little pocket of light. So we're still in the old town. All the little pockets of light that we've seen, they're all changing, it's all moving around. It's creating some real fun shapes and patterns on the floor and the buildings and everything. So we've just been hanging around, waiting for people to step into the pockets of light. Hopefully we're getting some quite nice photos today. This is the first time that I've done this kind of thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm a little bit of a fish out of water at the minute, but I'm kind of getting an idea now of what I'm looking for. I'm out with Dave Flower, so this is Dave. Dave does a lot of street photography. So he's kind of yodering me a little bit. He's kind of guiding me through this. Obviously, we're just walking around now, just looking for little pockets of light and people going through them. So I do a lot of landscape photography, don't I? Yeah. Well, it's all the trees. Queen's Gardens. Queen's Gardens. You also get people and ducks and water. And they're going to make for some great subjects for street yes, photography, Ali. Absolutely. You're going to get your purists to tell you that's got to be 35 mil, got to be black and white, got to be this, got to be that. Unnecessary restrictions, basically. Shoot what the hell you want. So whatever I find interesting, take a photograph of it. Basically, that's street yeah. photography. Absolutely. So what about the light then? The light, if you want high contrast, this light is perfect. Otherwise, golden out because See, golden out. I've been liking the high contrast light stuff. Yeah, well, that also looks good in black and white. Black and white. So yeah. we're going to do some black and white edits for the photos Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. All right, I'll bear that in mind. Let's crack on. Let's go do some more street photography. Apparently, we're going to Queen's Gardens for ducks, people, and trees. But first, I'm eating cookies. All right, so we've now moved into Queen's Gardens. This is like a little park area in the city centre. It's quite a busy place, so there's obviously there's a lot of subjects for street photography around here. But one thing that I'm noticing compared to the landscape photography that I often do, when you go out and do the landscape stuff, you're kind of just plonked on a tripod, you're waiting in the same location, you're waiting for the light, and you've kind of got an idea of the kind of photograph that you're going to take. Whereas with this, it's so fast paced, Everything's constantly moving, the people are walking around, the light's always changing, different subjects are coming into view all the time. It is definitely a different pace to the photography. I'm quite enjoying this today. So I'm using Dave's 45mm f1.8 lens. It's a lens that I have on order, so I thought seeing as he has it here with him today, we'll give it a go. So the next series of images that I'm going to show you are all taken with the 45mm f1.8 wide open street photography. Here's some more images. <laughs> Street photography, what is the verdict on this today? I've genuinely enjoyed myself. You see, I go out and do a lot of landscape photography, you'll check the weather apps, the tide times, and you go out at the right time of day and you kind of know the photograph that you're going to come away with. Where with the street photography, the light is constantly changing, the people are moving around, you're getting different subjects coming into different pockets of light, and it's good fun, everything's changing constantly, and it's a fast paced environment. It's photo, 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 photo and I have really enjoyed myself. It's the first time I've been able to come out and do this kind of thing 
and feel like I've got the tool to do it with this EM5 Mark II. You see, I have the Canon full frame stuff, the lenses and the cameras and everything, and they're very big, they're bulky, they're heavy, and they're very intrusive on people when they're going around the day to their life, whereas this tiny little camera, you can just blend into the background a little bit. People don't really notice that you're taking photographs, especially with the silent shooting mode and the touchscreen. You can sort of stand in the background and just touch the screen and take the photo at the right moment, and people are none the wiser. Whereas if I go out with the big Canon DSLR, the shuttle clunk on them things, it kind of gives the game away straight away. So I have really enjoyed myself, and this tool, it really has enabled me to come out and do this and enjoy myself today. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up, it really does help the video and it brings new views to see my content. If you enjoyed it more than that, there is a subscribe button below there, you can see more nonsense from me every single week. It's usually landscape oriented, I may pop out and do more street photography from time to time from now on. So until the next time, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you and say peace and goodbye.